Bit hey, we're live from Ukraine. Yeah, Again. hello, guys. Okay, hello, go hello. on. Sorry, what about shelters? Talk to me. Uh, I just uh, talking about the percentage of people who go down uh, when air alarm is here. So today I am from the shelter because an uh, hour ago we got an air alarm. So I sit in here and uh, I just told that only 10% or, or less than 10%, uh, 9 or 8 percent of all people go to the shelter and other uh, guys sitting in homes and playing in Russian roulette, you know. So you never know uh, what building is destroyed. But but mostly we have a calm situation, yes. So people don't want to go uh, down, especially if there's night. Uh, so in springtime, we usually uh, go our cloaks uh, our, uh, on our uh, forward. So... Uh, early we meeting we was meet with you uh, in 20, 21 o'clock yes p.m. but uh, today we have twenty two. So it's midnight so it's there right now. No no no. Uh, it's ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock in the evening. Oh, twenty two. Oh okay. And okay, okay. uh, twenty seven of March. Uh, clocks go forward, yes, and uh, autumn, I don't remember what, what day, uh, the clocks go back in an hour. When's the end date for the war? When's the war over? Did they give you a date yet? Uh, no. You know, there is uh, situation is not very positive now, so it looks like uh, Putin's want to uh, prolong this time, yes, because uh, he like to terror uh, cities and uh, see what happened. Hey, um, have has Odessa been attacked yet? Yep, we have a couple of attacks on this weekend, and uh, uh, two days ago, yes, uh, I woke up from Big Bang, and we saw the uh, smoke from the window from something. I don't know. Uh, our uh, media is uh, not show all the information for us because uh, there is a law now that you can post the photos and videos from the uh, attacking case and uh, because of uh, maybe you know I, I drop you a photos with the uh, big shop in Kiev yes uh, so some so some of guys post photos with our militarists uh, near uh, this uh, uh, big building, yes, and uh, after a couple of hours, there was a massive rocket attack, and you can see what is uh, what we have from from that good building. You can show it. Let, let me see if I can understand that correctly. You're saying that someone posted where the military, the Ukrainian military, was on the internet, and the Russians yeah. tracked that and, and struck it, and that's the photo you sent. That it was, they, they were at this building. And then mm -hmm. someone posted it on their Instagram or Facebook, and the Russians saw it and attacked it. Uh, there, there was photo from from this building. There staying some uh, military cars, yes. And after a couple of hours, you can see what happened uh, with this. Uh, this is a um, uh, live situation when you see some bang, yes, and you can show this for your friends or relatives, yes. Oh yeah, that's crazy shit. Do you, uh, know, uh, do you know that building personally from when you were in Kiev uh, by any chance? Uh, uh, that was building in 2020 and uh, that in the Winogradar, it's uh, the far, far district in Kiev. I never be there, but uh, I know where, where this territory is located. So, Can you show look, us the you... other photo? Can you show us the other photo again, Caleb? Yeah, that thing, that thing just completely uh, is leveled. I mean, that, that uh, every window in that building... Is uh, blown I, out. I want to talk about uh, these photos, next photos from from a uh, little bit uh, uh, after 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 time because th there is some stories about it. So, what is the current? Do do you have a death toll in uh, a Ukrainian death toll at this point? 
death toll what it is a n number of people killed oh uh we have some numbers yes but uh, i think uh, our government don't want to uh, have bad with us and they don't tell all the truth so we can we have some some numbers like uh uh couple of thousands of militaries, yes, but only in Mariupol, it's one city, yes. There is a common structures that uh, work with the Tums, yes. They uh, take, take away de dead people, dead civilians. And they talk about uh, four and a half thousand of people that they uh, take, take away to the uh, brother Tomp. So saw, on, 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 from one city, yes, this is the city that uh, Russia take uh, can take full, yes. But we're talking about that later, uh, early, yes. And there was uh, eighty percent of destroyed building, and now it's ninety-five and near. There's one one hundred percent of uh, destroyed building and all the infrastructure. All, In what all, city? All In Mariupol. Cities. In what city? Mariupol, yes. Mariupol. Yeah, wow. So that city's gone, basically. Mm -hmm. So we, we can talk about uh, 10 of thousands of people because uh, there are 150 uh, children, only children, yes. And uh, the near 5,000 in Mariupol. And we have another cities uh, like near Kiev, it's Irpen, Gostomel, uh, now in the Kharkiv, by the way, also, yes. And we have the difficult situation in Izum. It's the city that uh, uh, situated near the all the Donbass uh, stuff, yes. And it's a strategic, strategic uh, point for Russians. And they try to uh, attack there. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, I also want to tell about the uh, that Russian troops. Yes, and uh, for for that time, it's uh, more than sixty thousand uh, dead bodies. Yes, sixty thousand. Sixteen. 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 16. Yes. And and why do you feel confident about those figures, uh, Yevgeny? Mm, uh, once more, please. I um, don't understand. That number, 16,016000, why do you feel um, it's accurate? Why do you feel confident? Why do you feel uh, it's because, true? Uh, because we have uh, many uh, fi fireplaces, yes, many hot places, yes. Uh, like uh, we're talking about Mariupol, we're talking about Chernigov and Kherson and others, uh, Kiev, yes, in first days uh, of uh, war. And there was a, a massive attack from air, yes, to the uh, to the Russian uh, colons of tanks, yes, and uh, other techniques. And there was also uh, many people, so I saw the videos where from the air, yes, you see like uh, uh, many kilometers of uh, technique, yes, and the big bang, and you see all, only the piece of uh, fire steel, yes, uh, and and nothing else. So I believe in these numbers because because they, you know what uh, the. Uh, Military government in Russia, they don't don't have a really plan for for this attack. So they just drop uh, young guys. Maybe you hear about the young army from the Crimea, and the the guys uh, 15, 16 years. Yes, and this is this is crazy when when they uh, drop these boys for for our. Uh, militaries, yes, the guys who prepared for this and uh, the guys who know that Russia uh, it's soon or later, yes, they come and want to do something. So, uh, because of uh, 
because of military government of Russia. Uh, fucked up, yes. And uh, they don't really care about uh, their people. It's the fact. You can see this from the from the uh, the piece of money yes, they give to relatives of uh, dead soldier in Russia. There is some some crazy money yes uh, like uh, uh, like a hundred bucks yes I, I can't tell you real number so it's uh, 60 60 thousand 16 thousand of Russian rubles. so now it's uh, 100 bucks for for dead son for dead brother yes or or something like that and and this is not and uh, and there is uh, one point you, you can't uh, have this money because of blocked all the banks in Russia. So oh shit, the, you can't the, the few the dollars they're giving you, you can't even get. Yeah, I, I saw, uh, I listened the voice message from soldiers who talked with uh, uh, their wives. So it's uh, in open sources. Yes, you can you can find it because they don't so have. It's bad in Russia. It's bad. The people in Russia. It's bad for them right now. Yeah, it's really bad. So uh, you you can find uh, a, a lot of these uh, talkings because of bad uh, canals of uh, of how it called. So Isn't it amazing? Yeah. You're they're attacking you, and shit's also falling apart there for them, for their citizens, right? You're basically saying mm -hmm. the economy has come to a halt over there. Yep. So they destroy our city and uh, just destroy their economic. So no, no good uh, and positive sides from the war. We have just guys who sold the weapons and uh, try to do bad things. Yes, hell money. But in general, war, it's a very bad thing. I want to say that you seem a little more solemn today than the, than the first few times. You seem a little more low energy. Not bad, but just a little more serious. Uh, maybe more true. serious. You know, all day I, I don't want to talk. Yes, I have some demoralization maybe. Because uh, a lot of, it's, it's not, you know, it's for, in first days of war, you can read and you like, uh, there was 800 uh, tanks destroyed by uh, air defense. There was, I don't know some some crazy crazy stuff, and now now it's uh, a low low uh, part of war when something happens. Yes, but it's not not too much, and you don't have such emotional uh, emotional emotional things. Yes, so so it's like uh, uh, little soreness uh, from from all of this stuff. Yes. And um, I, I have uh, yesterday we have uh, two big uh, air alarms, uh, two and a half hours of each. Yes, and one of them I spent in the gym. So uh, I, I I hoped that uh, when I train, yes, uh, I don't uh, don't be bombed uh, by missiles. Yes. And all this time I was in the gym and I look for my phone, I see uh, alarm, alarm, okay. So I wait uh, before it ends and only after that I go home. So on these two and a half hours I uh, have one big workout, 30 minutes, then uh, some strength part with uh, heavy squats and, and uh, some core work. And then uh, I have another part of time I spent on the air bike and when I finished 25 minutes of uh, intervals there was a stretching because air alarm was there so what I want to say that I uh, have the alarm in the morning early in the morning so I don't have enough sleep and all the day after that massive workout uh, so I saw it so uh, many, many, not really good news. So yes, not too much energy. You're right. Um, uh, look at this. Uh, look at this story. 
Um, you, Odessa Zoo in Ukraine opens to visitors for first time since invasion. Yeah, it's great news, by the way. I know about that, yes. There was uh, many, uh, many news about that. And that's because uh, the animals who live in that zoo, uh, they need uh, um, food, yes. And the zoo need money for, for working and to take care of about animals so i saw the photos from the opening there was a lot of people really uh, I, I think uh, in the peaceful time there are not too much people but today that happened today i think yes uh, but today yes it's uh, it was the show now and then look but and then it, look at this story more, go ahead go ahead it's more like uh uh, the piece of good, you know. It's yes, not I for. Uh, I, I I don't like the zoo. Yes, I don't like animals who sit in, in the cages. But uh, for for that uh, that animal, it's uh, bad times. So they yeah, and it's just weird, <clears throat> right? I mean, what do you expect? People mm -hmm. have families and kids there. It, it's a trip. It's a. It, I can't even imagine. And then look at this story over here, Yevgeny. This guy. Oh, I think this guy OD'd on drugs. This Taylor Hawkins guy. So here you are sitting on a place in the planet. You just want them to stop dropping bombs so you can get along, get on with your life and, and help people be healthy and, and live a happy life. And this guy's ODing on drugs. It's just fascinating to me. Yep. All the different shit going on on this planet. Yevgeny, you said that there were airstrikes. Were, were, are, I didn't even, I guess I didn't even think that Ukraine had an air force. Ukraine is doing airstrikes on Russian troops. Of course, yes. Uh, you know what? Uh, if we don't have uh, the artillery, uh, artillery, yes. Uh, so, Air Force. Uh, the Air Force, yes. They'll not uh, be Ukraine uh, without this, because the uh, most uh, part of destroyed uh, Russian troops, yes, it's because of uh, air defense and all this stuff. There, there's a number that but they this put is, out. I don't think. Uh, please repeat. There's a number that they've put out that um, nearly four million people now. Sorry, yes, nearly four million people yeah, now yeah. have uh, left the country. And if you do the math on that, it, I mean, it, it's it's a it's a massive number. But here's where it gets really weird. If it really is four million, and you make the assumption that half that all the people leaving are women, and that half the people in the country are women, that means twenty percent, because there's forty million people living in the Ukraine. Twenty percent of the yeah. Ukrainian women have left the fucking country, and and to put that in perspective for Americans, what that means, but what percentage of our country is Chinese in 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 the United States? Do you know, Caleb? I'll look it up. Hey, listen, I think 16, I think like 13% of this country is uh, is um, people with black skin. So it's like if everyone in the United States with black skin left or if everyone who's mm – -hmm. everyone who's uh, – I wonder what percent of our country is like um, – 1.5%. Yeah, it's crazy. So, so literally five – there, there, it, actually, there's what's interesting is there's 3.8 million Chinese people in the United States, which is about how many have left Ukraine. But, but relative to the size of Ukraine, it would be like mm -hmm. if all of the Chinese people left. I bet you it's like if all the Asian people left the fucking country. I mean, that's how many women have left your country. It's fuck. It's 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 staggering. It's a, um that's a shitload of women to be moving, and they're moving with kids too, right? Of course, yes. Yeah, it's uh, nice. because they it's can, nice. they can, yes. Yeah. So if we can have a possibility, yes, to go, maybe uh, some some guys, some men also go away. But uh, there is a lot that we don't uh, don't can go from the country, yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, it's it's good uh, about women, yes, because uh, uh, for for many families, it's uh, the reason why the man can grab the weapon and uh, the, he knows that uh, his wife, yes, or his mother, my mother or, or kid, yes, uh, they in the safety and uh, he can do what, what he must do, yes. 
So with with this reason, I also uh, I write you about this yes on this week, so that I want to uh, go on the. Uh, south yeah, so of, sorry to south, interrupt you, Evgeny. It, tw if 20% 20 per, 20 of the U.S. population would be if all of the black women in the United States and all of the Asian women in the United States were all gone. Just to give you a perspective mm -hmm. of how many people are migrating out of the Ukraine, and they're all women. It, it, it's, um, it sucks. It's a lot, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. It's crazy. And and now you're thinking – you. so let's talk about that. You were thinking about leaving Odessa to go to a city, LVIV, Lviv, Lviv? Uh, not uh, right to Lviv, yes, but I, I must be in Lviv, Lviv for the day or a couple of days before I go for, uh, further, yes. So there was uh, – we're thinking – with my girl, yes, we're thinking about uh, – Next steps, yes, maybe uh, in Odessa it's not too too dangerous now, but we don't know uh, what will happen after a week, yes, or, or tomorrow, yes. And it's it's strange situation, and I want to do something to protect her. So first, what I think is that we must go uh, near border, yes, so I can uh, can help her to go away from country, yes. And we start to look in a situation and look into what we can do. And there was, uh, I have a friend who now, uh, he live in Kiev, yes, but he go on the south of Ukraine. It's uh, far from Lviv, but he can meet us there, yes, and help to go further. But uh, uh, we forget about this idea of the... Uh, that after the attack on Lviv, yes. So you can show the photos of. Uh, can you show us uh, the map there. first of where this place is, uh, Caleb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, just so I got, uh, I got one too. If uh, you need uh, help. Until recently time, uh, the western part of our country uh, was consider it a relatively safe, safe place. Yes, so we think we can go there. So and, it's, the, uh, it's, it's this place over here on the left. So, yeah. so if, if you guys can see my arrow right now, I'm going to take my arrow down here, Odessa. It's, it's, it's on the Black Sea, and this is where Yevgeny is. We're speaking to him right now. I'm circling this O-D-E-S-S-A. He was going to travel, considering traveling to L-V-I-V, Lviv, Mm -hmm. Lviv, it's right. To take his girlfriend so that she could cross the border safely. How far is that that journey, and how would you make it? Uh, because of uh, many roads now controlled by enemy, yes, and there are some danger on that road. So you can tell uh, hundred percent how much time it's uh, it must be. Because in a regular way, you must you can go there by. 14 hours on the train, yes, and uh, on the car, something like 10 hours, yes. But uh, what what can I say to you? Uh, my uh, good friend, we, we see the map of Ukraine, yes, he go from the Chernigiv region, it's north part of Ukraine, and he go to the Kiev yesterday, yes, and they're like 80 kilometers, so it's not too much, yes, in distance. And... Uh, he must go in such way, so all the road can, consists by four hours, 80 kilometers, yes, and he must go by the forest uh, and fields, yes, and looking for safety way, four hours. So, so that's I don't 20 know how much That's time. 20 kilometers an hour. How fast is that? That's 10 miles an hour? Uh, yeah, it's, it's 12 really, miles an hour? It's really slow. Yeah. So you can imagine how, how long can we travel uh, to the Lviv. Is there Maybe. a train still running from Odessa to Lviv? It's a train for, for go away. So it's a special train uh, without uh, money. So just uh, hundreds of people uh, staying, not, not sitting, but staying and with some little, little uh, things with you. So maybe one uh, uh, one bag, bag, yes, and 
you go in this place. Uh, I show you photos if I find with this. But we we want to go on the car. Yes, now many people help other people help uh, with money, of course. Yes, so uh, they uh, go to the places. Yes, on their car and looking for safety uh, safety roads. Um, so people are transporting. Right. Like you can pay somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. to transport you. Yeah, and and they uh, are on a good money for this now because because it's uh, it's very popular now, you know. But this is not uh, really uh, really good. <laughs> uh, take money for this, but what what, what can we do? Like vultures. Mm-hmm. I want so, to, about so, so, so you were going to go, and why didn't you go? Why didn't you go? Because uh, two days ago, maybe three days ago, there was a first attack on Lviv, yes. And before, before that, yes, all the month there was uh, quiet and no rockets, no air alarms, yes. And now, now you can see also in Lviv the missiles, yes, and... Uh, attacking and it was uh, yesterday yes uh, hit an object of military infrastructure yes and also on oil deport on which fire was extinguished with all night so yeah guys, I see uh, this I see this photo of this oil field in the New York Times if you type in Lviv news uh, Caleb you'll get it it's the oh sorry it's Washington Post man Ha, huh. isn't it funny? Washington Post has this uh, uh, slogan of the talk, democracy dies in darkness. And they, they're at the forefront of killing the democracy in the United States. That's fucking amazing. Amazing. So, so but basically what you're saying is, is you saw these oil fields get attacked and that you don't think it's safe to go there now. So you have to, you have an, you're just sitting there. Uh, yeah, of course. Right? We we don't have in Odessa now uh, like this fire, but you know there is no safety place in Ukraine now. Maybe it's a uh, old big question where you can go and stay safe because uh, in in peace peace uh, cities now you can find uh, guys who uh, film Ukrainian militarist who uh, grab the information about our militarist and then and then they have attacking. So, by the way, in Lviv, uh, police found a man who was filming the moment the rocket flew and hit the target. Photos of all checkpoints of the region were found on his tape tablet. And he sent this information to two Russian numbers. So, uh, there are some bad guys who uh, got the information and sent to the Russian militarists. Is is there any news of, of of Biden being over there? We heard uh, yesterday. I heard a report that he said that Putin cannot stay in power. I'm sure that scares the shit out of people in the United States. Like, what does that mean um, exactly? Uh, by the way, uh, why is one of the reasons why Lviv was attacked? Yes, because Biden was not for not far from that place. Uh, it's far from that place. Yes, but for, for, in rockets. Uh, how rockets uh, fly, and yes, it's not far. So uh, many guys say that it because Biden was in Europe, so they attacked uh, Lviv and show like, uh, see, we, we don't scary, and we can do like that. So it is. Are you, are you seeing any of the support from the outside world come in in Odessa? Like, are you seeing any of the? Uh, any of the military aid, any of the food aid, any of the clothing, any of the supplies of, of, that the billions of dollars are supposedly buying? I read about it uh, every day, yes. And our Odessa government talk about this. We have the brother city in French, yes, it's Marcel. So Odessa, it, I, I don't know, it's uh, historically like uh, Odessa and Marcel are uh, brother cities. So they uh, drop uh, some stuff. For us, and uh, every time I read about it, yes. So vol volunteers uh, uh, grab a lot of money for uh, for military reasons for guys who lost 
uh, their uh, houses. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I I think it's happened. But um, uh, I, I I don't touch not of this. Yes, if you ask about that, you haven't received anything yet. Yeah, because you don't have, a, you don't have an Apache helicopter that you're shooting people down with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not not situa that situation that when I need uh, some uh, food or something like that. I'm I'm just okay now. Yes, it's uh, there is a thousand of people who feel worse than I. Yes, yeah, so I try to do some some help from me with this. Hey, let's. Uh, I want to explore the idea of how this thing ends with you um, outside of World War Three. Um, let Let's say, let's say Putin finally. Let's say Putin gets Ukraine and secures Ukraine. Um, is, is there talk? Is he going to go into Poland? Like, what What do people over there think is happening? Is he just trying to get Ukraine and annex it back into, and he just wants to call it Russia again? Uh, I read about uh, one of the experts, yes, political experts, say about uh, oh, stop, not not political experts. It's some from uh, Ru some Russian deputies, yes, some R Russian uh, government stuff say about uh, that Russia have some reasons for attack uh, next countries, so Poland. Czech and and other. I read about it, and I was like, "What uh, they they talking about it?" So so it's you, you can find the new about it. So uh, I don't. It's look like uh, it's not the situation that end after months. Yes, as we think uh, all the people because fuck, it's crazy. Yes, I, I don't know. I don't want to live in Russia, really. It's, well, I'm, uh, I, I was actually going to even say something. Wait, I was going to say something even darker. If for some reason they do secure the borders, I wonder what they do with all the men in there. Mm -hmm. That's the fucking scary part. There'll be 20 million people still left in there, and what the fuck will happen to them? That part's scary as shit to me. Um, but let's okay. Let's go the other way. Let's say that enough aid comes in, and the, and the Russians start. Um, just retreating and they retreat to the border then will they just be fighting with ukraine at the border for another fucking hundred years <laughs> uh i think uh, uh the history is uh, circuit yes and uh, maybe a couple of uh, tense years there was peaceful and then again because uh, we can't believe russians uh, again yes We can't what? What do you say? We can't what Russians before bully, we bully, bully Russians. Russians. Okay, like bully. Like they're not going to bully the Russians. I think believe. Oh, believe. Yeah, right. Uh, Yevgeny, if you can hear us, it's okay to hang up and then log back in again to help the connection. You know what's crazy is uh, my wife was just reading to me an article. So, sorry, guys. Okay, go ahead. Yevgeny, can you show us really quick before you continue? Can you show us the shelter you're in right now? You are in a shelter yeah. because there's air raids going off in the city, correct? Yes. Actually, I'm now on the parking place, yes, on okay. the minus third floor. And I can show you the place where shelter because there are some people, yes, and it's not very correct. But I show you the place where, where it's... Uh, that's okay you don't have to happened. disturb those people but basically is that is that parking lot underground are you underground yeah yeah it's the minus third floor so okay. it's uh, uh some <laughs> some say by the way the alarm is finished so i can show you something and and are uh, you so, safe down there is there any chance that someone could see you and just come rob yeah. you and take your cell phone or anything that was my girlfriend yes hi girlfriend and Look on this, yes. So there are some some place you can lie down and to sleep. There are some uh, warm place so you can have some warm and and the all. So that's not normally there. That's that those cots and all of that is there because you're in a war. Of course, yes. It's it's okay. not the fi fi five star hotel. <laughs> right. That's but, not where you park your car and go make out with your girlfriend and watch a movie. That's for uh, war shit. Uh, by the way, uh, so, some of guys bring the projector there so we watch some some movie. Uh, I oh, I send send you photos later with this. So it it, it was uh, the the minute of 
interesting time in the shelter. Yeah. So uh, every time you go here and you think, fuck, uh, I want to uh, come back and there are no, no uh, rocket in my house. Yes. But uh, in that time we sit in together. Yes. Watch some uh, series. Yes. And don't think about something bad. And uh, last time, uh, not to, to, uh, no, no, I, I'm staying here for, for the time. Uh, girl, girlfriend asked me uh, if I go go uh, up or stay in, stay in there. So but, she's uh, done. She's done in the shelter. She's going back up. They they stopped. Yeah, you've been down there for two hours and you're done. All guys go away from the place. Yes. Okay. Only uh, only me here. Okay. So uh, wh where are we sitting and uh, watch the movie? There was a good time. And uh, we need more uh, that that kind of time where we can see some good emotion. So war, it's really hard for a brain and you feel exhausted mostly. Yes, you can uh, you can say something bad to your relatives or girlfriend. Yes, you can think something bad, and it's it's uh, other side. Yes, that. Uh, that will do your life worse than than with rockets. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, an another bad news from uh, from this. Um, are are the Russians doing anything um, propaganda wise to the Ukrainian people? Like, are you getting f flyers dropped on you saying, "Hey, don't worry, stay still. The war will be over soon. We'll be in control, and life will go back to normal." Are, are you getting that? Yeah. Message from them? Uh, I can tell you a couple of uh, uh, situations about that, yes. So uh, there is a city, Kherson, yes, uh, near the Crimea and not far from Odessa. It's uh, south of, uh, of Ukraine. And uh, there the occupiers are intercise and terror against civilians. They search pro servicemen, volunteers and members of their families, yes. And... They kidnap women and uh, torture uh, all the, the citizens that they like. So uh, there are a couple of cities that uh, have the uh, Russian-like government. Yes, they want to do something there. And uh, they're looking for uh, like bringing the cars with the food and want to give something to people. But people don't don't uh, don't take anything. Yes. Uh, and, yes. Yeah, and they go to uh, some protest with with flags. Yes, and uh, uh, most of the time the military just uh, mm, try to uh, say these people to go away and go to your home. Uh, we can kill you and 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 other. But 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 you haven't heard anything in Odessa. You haven't received. They're not dropping f pieces of paper on the city with instructions on what to do and how to behave. Uh, no, Odessa now it's mostly peaceful region. But uh, that uh, stuff that you're talking about uh, was in Chernigiv region. There they uh, on, on occupied cities they uh, have the papers where you can read. The Ukrainian is uh, uh, controlled by nationalists. Yes, we come here to save you, and yeah. you 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 can uh, continue to go on the work. Yes, we we just uh, looking in the city for Nazi. Yes, we destroyed all the bad stuff. Yes, and you you will live in good life in Russia. Yes, and we save all you. I, I read something like that. Yes, and. That's horrible. Uh, I want to. I want to read something. I want to read something to you here that someone wrote in the comments. I drop you something like that. I'm going to read this to you. So, this gentleman writes, "What was the reason for the U.S. and the U.N. to act in Iraq Kuwait conflict? Following the same line of thought, they should also act in this war." Fair enough. But 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 here here's then he writes, "The difference is that this time it's nuclear Russia that's on the other side." But the, the, And I agree with him, everything he's saying, except for this last part. He says, hypocrisy of world politics. I'm not sure it is hypocrisy. 
I mean, the nuclear, the nuclear, the nuclear piece is is a game changer, right? Yeah, of course. And you must play in you play in very dangerous game when you uh, try to show all the uh, kind of stuff you can uh, push on Putin. Yes, yeah? so uh, of course it's it's a really difficult chess game. So. You yeah, you you do, you don't need to show all the uh, all the stuff uh, in, in first day, yes. But it's it's the uh, you you pay on this with the life of the people, with the cities that in, on fire and and other. But but it's war and it's really uh, cold uh, and uh, cold and terrible. Uh, phase of war that we're looking now. So I understand why uh, all the country talking r really uh, safety about that. So they don't want to escalate something. Yes, but in in uh, uh, that time I understand that uh, I, I don't know how long can we stay in here uh, because. It's it's really the situation when cities uh, by control of uh, Russian militaries and they don't have food, they don't have some, uh, they don't have nothing. Yes, and uh, the mm, the thing that they do, yes, it's not about the law and and some some principles. Yes, they just do what what they want to do. It's it's terrorists like country of terrorists. So there is no no uh, one uh, idea how how can uh, exit of this situation. When when I'm when I was a young man, if I was driving on the freeway, you know, if I was driving my car on the highway and I mm -hmm. saw police officers, let's say five or six cars, and they had someone pulled over. I would know it's okay. Now I can break the speed limit. Now mm -hmm. I can go 80, 90, 100 miles per hour. That is also what's going on in the United States. People are very concerned. These other countries, you know, that I'm sure you've heard, just for a couple examples, Taiwan and Armenia are terrified, right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when the world's attention is on the Ukraine, the other, bad, the other people will start doing bad things. Of course. Yes. So there's this, there's this, the, there's, there's, Vulnerable people all over the world right now who are absolutely terrified uh, because of the distractions. And, and, and it's not a distraction to you. It's your fucking life. So I apologize for wording it like that. But but from the distractions going on in Europe right now. If it weren't, if it weren't for Russia having nukes, we wouldn't even have thought twice about it. Yeah. yeah. Said, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go in and fix it. Like it, you can tell already just because of – I mean it's been like that since the beginning. But like Russians arm, Russia's army is just – isn't up to par like their soldiers they're like ground forces are not up to par but strictly because they have a nuclear option just like china and just like everybody else we have to tiptoe around them because they have a nuclear option you know it's just like north korea with their icbms their inter intercontinental ballistic missiles they all of a sudden created that and they're like shit now we need to kind of respect north korea a little bit because it's it's you have to play delicately with these kind of war games which is, I mean, it's not a game, obviously. But what about the yeah. generals, Yevgeny? We we heard we've heard that six Russian generals have been killed. Is there any truth to that story? I saw their photos, yes, uh, and read about that also. Yeah, I think it's true. Uh, some guys, it's uh, uh, follow all, all, all this uh, Russian troops. Yes, so of course, as a general, so, uh, also here. Lying on our ground. Yeah. <laughs> so, so basically, we don't know anything. But if we were to guess, we would think that they're they've come to Ukraine to take Ukraine and keep Ukraine, and 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 so we can't imagine how this is going to end. Yeah, we we can this, only this wait. This war and... could go on for a really long time. Uh, of course, and uh, many political say that it's only beginning. Yes, and all the world must uh, wait for something, something bigger. But it's scary, really. So we we can only think about uh, what Chinese think uh, about Russia now. So when Russia, all the Russian militaries in Ukraine, Russia talking about attack Europe. Yes, 
And in this time, China just sitting and think, okay, guys, we can come to fr- from another side, yes, and and uh, give what we want, yes. And that's what happened in in many countries, I think. So um, it's uh, scary, but it's true that we uh, don't know what what can be next. Um, I never hear about Romania and and it, it, well, let me talk about Moldova first of all. The people that I know who've told me about Moldova have told me that basically it's just a gangster kingdom. It's just a kingdom of it's just it's being run by a gangster. Is that true? Is, what's it? Is that a scary uh, place? I, I'm not too much know about Moldova, but uh, guys who from from there, yes, they uh, famous, but by their uh, skills to. Uh, grab grab some some stuff yes i i know what you're talking about and what is that country that's south of uh, moldova that's that okay that's ukraine also wow so moldova's landlocked ukraine got that whole chunk of the black sea incredible mhm and then you moldova... board, and then you border romania over there mhm mhm um and, moldova... and how, how how's the relationship with romania ukraine and romania uh, I think everything fine because uh, nothing bad I know about it, but uh, uh, n- not too much I know about it. It's close to you. Mm-hmm. Too close. I mean, it would seem like instead of going to Poland, a safer bet for you if you had to take your girlfriend somewhere would be Moldova or Romania, wouldn't? Why, why would you go all the way to Lviv and try to get to Poland? Uh, because it's uh, more near to Europe and you have uh, much variants to, to choose. So you don't know what to uh, expect from uh, you can go to Moldova, yes, and be only in Moldova. And there, there is Pridnistrovia, the territory that's controlled by Russians, yes. And you, you don't know what to expect from from that guy and uh, how it ends. But uh, in too cl- close to Europe, yes, you have uh, many friendly countries without uh, without doubt you can go there and uh, don't worry about what to happen there mm. uh, you hear about new putin's plan over of uh, our uh, uh, kirill budanov is the head of the main intelligence directorate of the minister of defense of ukraine Yes, and he said that there was reason to believe that Putin was considering a Korean scenario for Ukraine. A, a what scenario? Korean. So uh, he want to uh, he he will try to establish a dividing line between the unoccupied and occupied regions of our country. Yes, and. In fact, he wants to create a border, yes, where his territory that he occupied, yes, and uh, independent Ukraine, and uh, uh, attempt to create North and South Korea in Ukraine. North and South or East and West? It seems like the natural place to split that sucker would be right down the river. Mm -hmm. What river is that that goes from the North to the South that I see in this photo that goes through Kiev? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Dnieper. D n i e p e r river. Dnipro. It's called Dnipro. Dnieper It's uh, by Russians. Uh, if you if you say by Russian, Dnieper. But in Ukrainian, oh. it's Dnipro. Dnipro. So he mm-hmm. he would want the southern. He would want. He wants Russia to have the southern half of Ukraine that borders the Black Sea. He wants the Black Sea. Yeah, it's look look like true. It's not not like it's look like the plan B maybe. So if he want to attack Kiev and grab Kiev, so that plan is uh, fucked up. And uh, it's uh, w- what uh, happened in that cities now, Mariupol, Izum, and in the Donetsk region. Yes, it's look like uh, really he wants to. Uh, Occupied all the ter- ter- territory uh, that's uh, located there and create something like that. 
so uh, he got uh, a lot of uh, land yes that uh, be on the border with uh, uh, Russia yes and the much control the the uh, Crimea not far from that and it's look like good idea for him now so it seems like it's uh, looks like a plan for him uh this guy so and and, and he follows up with this <clears throat> the gentleman says Rui says the problem is Putin won't stay for Ukraine meaning he, and he knows that he can threaten with nuclear that no one will face him so basically the Rui's saying it's either we do it now or later but he he almost seems like it's it's inevitable that he's just going to keep showing his his threat of nuclear weapons and keep taking more and more of Europe. We can look on him, yes, and he nothing to lose. Uh, the people in Russia now uh, have a re really bad times. Yes, they come back to the 19th centuries, and uh, the ropes the ropes have uh, it's cost. Uh, less than paper so there was a meme wow. where where you can buy the pack of paper yes 500 pieces and looks how how much it costs so one one uh, piece of paper costs the four ropes and and this is uh, looks very interesting yeah and uh, people fucked up he don't care about people he don't care about the militaries there was the statement uh, where he said that uh, to, to 20, 30, 50,000, I don't care, but we must take Ukraine. Yes, that, that was his words. And of course, when um, no, nothing holds you, yes, you can uh, uh, go forward and do whatever you want now. Because uh, there was the summit of uh, OON, yes, and they they talking about nothing they uh, tell that they worry about the situation in ukraine they tell that putin put stop putin and uh, take away your militaries yes and that's all and that's the one month of war and we're talking about uh, this thing we don't talking about the, some lethal weapon or some i don't know snipers that uh, come to russia and kill putin about the secret oh we don't maybe it's a secret some secret operations, yes, and many countries walking about uh, that and don't talking to us. I hope uh, that this is, can happen. But in uh, what we see in media, it's uh, only the situation when monkey goes with the bomb, yes, and all the people staying away and no, don't do nothing, no, no, nothing. Yes, you can, you can play, but don't, don't, don't uh, drop the bomb, yeah. Uh, someone here in the comments is saying, "Is Russia still restri restricted on naval vessels passing through the canal? Which canal? The, Su the Suez? Which canal is he talking about?" Uh, maybe it's Bosphor, but but there's no canal into um, the Black Sea, is there? Through Istanbul, it's closed, right? Yes, Bosphor is closed by t Turkish, I think. Yes, and uh, there is. Uh, oh shit! There is a canal there. There is Bosphor. a passageway there. I had no idea. I thought the Black Sea was completely locked in. No, no, no. We're talking about it uh, early, and uh, there is uh, a bomb place from Russia. They got, uh, they dropped the bomb there, uh, like the Sea bomb, yes. And they tell that this, this is Ukraine. Uh, do this, yes. And uh, nothing, not ships go there now because they can't. They, it's dangerous for ships. And is that is that over there by Istanbul? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, I don't know about Istanbul, but uh, on the our uh, sea line, it, it happens. Uh, so, do you know what your next move is, Yevgeny? My next move? Yeah. What's your next move? Uh... Are you just holding tight still? Yes, I'm, I'm thinking about why one project now. Oh, I lost my cam. Yes, yes. I'm thinking about one pr project, and maybe it took my time, and I don't think about bad uh, things. 
and see what happens about that. It's uh, about my training, and uh, I don't tell uh, many uh, things about that. I ca- I want to do this and maybe show. But in general, I can do nothing. Uh, I looking for the possibilities to uh, uh, get save my girl. Yes, so maybe I find some some way to send her uh, to the border. But uh, I think that I can move uh, now because of uh, I can go to army. Yes, it's one of the reasons. And uh, I can be killed. It's second reason. And uh, uh, we don't know what happened next. Are there any countries that are committing troops to fighting with Ukraine? Like actual like countries? I, I know that there's supposedly people going there from other countries that are just, you know, on their own. But have any countries said, okay, we're sending troops? And you Maybe I uh, uh, Biden yesterday say something about the USA troops that, that can, the 82nd Airborne. That what he said about them. Uh, <laughs> they say he say that uh, they can can go and help, but uh, I don't know if it's true or not. And I know that many volunteers come to other countries. It's like the. Mm-hmm. 50,000 of uh, uh, volunteers from uh, other countries. It's medical guys. It's some, I saw some uh, famous snipers, yes, here. Uh, and uh, some, uh, you know, it's the Kadyrov, yes, Chechnya. Uh, there is one Chechnya and we uh, have another Chechnya. It's uh, like... Uh, uh, Another nation, yes. So uh, they uh, not the same, but but uh, cold like Chechnya, yes. And they go uh, to Ukraine. And uh, about by the way, I saw the photos of uh, uh, black guys who was from DNR, yes, the Donetsk Republic, like they called this, yes. And there was some some volunteers that want to uh, go on the Russia side uh, from from these republics. Yes, so I saw their passports and they was killed. And uh, it wow. seems like Ru- Russia got some guys from uh, from Syria, from uh, Nigeria. Yes, they got some guys who, who, who ready to go from their country, yes, for uh, low money. And uh, they don't really want to uh, kill somebody, yes, but they just want to go away from their country. Yeah, it, um, we're we're also hearing that. Oh, yeah, we're also seeing stories of Russians who are leaving uh, Russia. That that as things become more and more unstable there, they're leaving. Have you have you have you thought about coming to the United States and what that would look like? Mm, in uh, near future, I, I don't really think that it's possible. But of course, uh, I, I I was living with the dream that I come to United States, that I come to famous CrossFit box. Yes, that I uh, got some uh, some g- good stuff from that and uh, can have more uh, can have more uh, knowledge. Yes, so. How how it called? I I look for other uh, good coaches, yes, and uh, uh, have some. I forget this word about the skills and uh, tips and tricks that you know after you do something from from a long time. So, I wonder uh, what I would do. I wonder what I would do if I was in your situation. <laughs> Uh, and, and you have all your family to worry about too. It's not like you can just get in your car and go fuck it. I'm gonna. I don't give. A, I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna drive to London. Then I'm gonna get on an airplane. I'm gonna fly to New York. I don't care who I what I have to do. But you have your girlfriend. You have your mom and dad. Do you have brothers and sisters, Evgeny? No, I'm uh, uh, just just one in the family. Yeah, but I, I have uh, uh, like uh, one minute. The 
it's not like uh, your your own brother, yes, but from from the brother of from the sister of your dad, how it's right. called. Right. Oh, cousin. 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 Yes, cousin. Yes. I, I I have a lot of cousins. Yeah. So of course I have a family, and yeah, I'm n- not don't care about them and. Uh, every day we ha- have a phone call. Every day we're talking about the situation and uh, we're asking each other about uh, are you have food? Yes. How, how much the food cost in your city? Because uh, Odessa don't have the problem with food, yes. But uh, the uh, little city uh, where my mother now, yes, there are some, some entrepreneurs, yes, that uh, uh, go for the for the food that they come back and said the price that uh, just crazy yes so they sold some regular regular stuff for some crazy for crazy uh, money yeah and this is a problem i got a question for you caleb it, um i'm looking i was just looking at the 82nd airborne and i'm seeing they it's they've sent troops over there to poland and it says the 82nd Airborne is 57,000 people. It's a big – it's pretty big, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at that now. It looks like they got sent over to Poland. Usually they just – I think that happened a few months ago, did it? Uh, or, yeah, last middle of last month. They just kind of, like, send them places just in case. I mean, I think they put it under the guise of, like, oh, we're just doing uh, – I mean, I don't – this is all just speculation, but sometimes they'll just send people to do, like, a training exercise or – um, like do a co-op with some of the with another set of forces like we have pretty good um, relations with Poland and then I we've even done training exercises with the Ukrainian Air Force too so I know a lot of uh, like a lot of fighter pilots are pretty aware of of their of their Air Force and probably worked with a few of them and, uh, the US military has about 100,000 personnel stationed in Europe that's crazy I had no idea have- if you look at a map of like all of the military bases in Europe, we, we have one in just about every country, at least one, if not more. And NATO has another 40,000 troops. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> wow. So the shit could escalate quickly if shit gets weird. And that's the, I mean, the benefit of sending people to Poland is that they're also a NATO member They, I mean, they're, they're willing to help just as much as everybody or the, I get, maybe not willing, but they have an obligation to man. It's crazy. The entire German army is smaller than the troops we have in Europe. I don't, I think there's some sort of regulation about their, the size of their army, but I also know that they have to like, Hey, you guys had Hitler. So you guys can't have any, this many people. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. They, uh, they, after that, and, it's, and Japan has the same problem too. Like, I mean, I don't know if it's a problem, but after World War II, there's an agreement with the United States that said, like, hey, you can only have, like, your, the size of your army can only be this big, and you can only am- allow, uh, you can only have these kind of weapons. Um, basically, if you want anything else, like, just ask us. <laughs> and by us, I mean the United States. So they, and it look like preventive methods, yes, but uh, uh, it's not look like it's really work, yes. Right. Good point. <laughs> this is true. This is Good true. Point. It's a uh, best intentions, but not necessarily uh, the best way to uh, being the best solution. But following hostilities in 2014, Ukraine increased the size of its armed forces to 204,000. Man. And don't hey. and don't forget that uh, not not only militaries to have yes, but uh, there is some some pe- people army yes. So yeah, national you guard can, and you another can, sixty thousand in the national guard. Yeah, you that's can as read big as about whole army. You can read about the grandmothers that uh, drop some some bottles to the drones. Yes, you can read about the guys who stop the tank just uh, just with their hand. Yes, so tank stop and the tons right. And this is the crazy guys who who help a lot. Uh, the guy who with the you know what is tractor? Tractor, yep. it's yeah, it's the, the uh, some machine for for the fields. Yes, yeah, yeah. 
the the farmer stole tank with tractors. Yeah, so, oh so yeah, 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 come, yeah. Come and yeah, go, go and go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's the some, some crazy volunteer stuff when uh, they uh, just uh, find something uh, from I, I don't, where they can find. So they have some qu crazy questions about. So uh, maybe uh, some medical stuff or some military stuff. Yes, I, and and. And they very soon find the money, very soon find the guys who can uh, send this stuff. And, and it's the big part of our uh, helping system, yes. It's not only militarists, but just regular people who can... Uh, we, we don't forget about our IT army, yes, about the computer war. So uh, they just... The those Russian side, they just... Uh, do they, they can do they write a comment yes they have a war with some companies who can get uh, can go from russia yes so i was like this guy with the crossfit <laughs> and this all this is uh, our front and uh, we, we all want to finish this stuff i know there's a there's a group called uh the global surgery gsmsg uh, global surgical medical something rather they mm -hmm. are, they're teaching, so I think it's, it's just a group of a bunch of American special operations like surgeons and uh, medics and um, stuff like that. And these guys are teaching um, like TCCC, so Tactical Combat Casualty Care, which is like a big um, like medical course that we have to take in the military. And they, uh, they're teaching it to people in Ukraine, like just regular civilians, they're teaching it in Ukrainian. Um, just how to take care of people who are uh, who have like gunshot wounds or in shock and stuff like that. And so it, it's really, really cool to see. And I, I know those guys are just all civilians now. They're not active duty military anymore, but they all have combat experience and special operations. Yeah, we have something like that in Odessa. You can go and uh, the guys teach you how, how to give a fir first uh, help first medical help yes we have some courses to tactical courses yes it's all for free yes and you can go and uh, teach yourself and uh, protect the land uh, by the way you know about the red red crest yes of how it red cross or, 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 red cross yes this organization they grab a lot of money from ukrainian people and go to the russia and uh, open their phone to help uh, russian who who have a problem with the war. So it's a very strange situation. And uh, I saw many news about that. All guys uh, try to do something. So it's a strange position. Uh, what, do you, what do you mean that they're, they go to help Russians? Like they, they, the, the Russians who are opposing the war? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, Ukraine says new Red Cross office in Russia will legitimize Moscow's alleged abduction of civilians. And and just and allow them to leave Russia. Is that what it's? Is that what that means? I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm understanding exactly what it is. It, it sounds bad, though. Is it bad, Yevgeny? Are you suggesting it's something bad? Yes, I think it's bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think now it's this situation uh, when some of companies, organizations, uh, go to Russia and try to help Russia. Yeah. Uh, it's it's bad. It's uh, yeah. I see what it's you're my. Saying. It's my realistic position in this yeah. situation because I know how I feel my nation now, right. and right. Uh, I don't really believe in help Russians now. Yeah. We, we okay. Can, so we, there's, we I see what you're saying. there's problems in Russia, and Red Cross is opening um, offices there to help the people. And it's like, hey, just um, open them in in the Ukraine or in the border countries, and and let Russia deal with its own yeah. shit because they're the ones who started the war. I read many comments from the people who uh, see uh, this uh, with uh, their eyes. Yes, when uh, was the battles in the city? Yes, and there was a member from the uh, Red, Red Cross. Yes, and they just uh, and there was a situation, the bad situations when uh, uh, some some uh, the uh, Russians uh, tried to kill some Ukrainian guys. Yeah, and and uh, these guys, R Russian Cross, just staying and do nothing. Yes, and they don't help. They just watching, and. Uh, there is many comments like that from the people who was w with with these guys. 
So it's not really, I'm not really understand what the reason they come to Ukraine, what they doing, yes, what uh, the good uh, thing that they doing there. I'm, I'm, I'm reading this thing. Uh, that this, I, I think, o, uh, I think this is the same as NATO, right? OTA. It's, yeah, NATO, NATO, and OTAN are like they, they're the same. Is the military in Norway with around thirty thousand troops, uh, Europe and North America by April first? Wow. Uh, Yevgeny, uh, I appreciate your time, buddy. Um, shall we? Uh, shall we continue the the saga next week? Yeah, our saga I, is. <laughs> I'm liking continue. you more. I, I'm liking you more and more. We're almost like friends now. Of course, and uh, I feel like uh, you guys uh, say me good, good words, yes, and uh, uh, interesting about uh, what happened uh, in my life, and it's great because uh, you see, I'm more fun now from the beginning of our conversation, yes. We're building uh, a relationship. Yes, and and uh, and you're des and you're desperate for friends. I mean, you're in, look at you, you're in a garage. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> you'll take just two random guys from America. <laughs> oh yes, it's funny, really funny. Okay, um, so I I love communicating with you on WhatsApp. Let's keep doing that. Thank you for the pictures again. I love showing that stuff when we come on the air. Um, yeah, I try try to work more from for for this because uh, there is a lot of news and uh, not all kind of stuff. Yes, I'm figure out so I uh, w work with this more. So, so we can we can show more pictures or more some information with this. And and if you're going around, um, uh, if you make it outside in Odessa and you're walking around the cities, I'd like to see stuff too. Just pictures you take with your iPhone. You know, okay, lines uh, maybe of people getting food or empty parks or just whatever stuff that anything you want to talk about or tell a story about. Let us know. Mm -hmm. you, you know, we'd we'd love to hear your take on it. Uh, okay, I got it. And you, you can see the empty parks now in Odessa. There is a start of the season, yes, and you already can see the men who lie on the beach and uh, uh, have, have fun with the sun. So okay. there is uh, there is a bomb on the beach and uh, and uh, the guy lying and uh, uh, happy with the sun. So it's it's interesting situa situation in Odessa. Yeah. The people who don't go to the air alarms, yes, they, you don't know what, what to expect from there. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See you. Dream well, you, dream well. Yep. Uh, and Thanks, we'll be in touch. Yep. Thank you. Same time next week. Yep. Ciao. <sighs> Weird, right? We're talking to a dude in a war zone. It's nuts. It's like, I mean, like you said, it's just, you're seeing it like an evolution of what's been going on, especially from his point of view. We need to find someone in Russia. <laughs> that would be very interesting. I, I would say let's talk to Roman, but I don't think he wants to. Uh... He um, his, his English is, I think, really, really bad. We need someone oh, right. there who's kind of living under the same situation of Yevgeny. I'd love to, like, we need some young person there who's just like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, this dude just, I mean, think this guy's in the prime of his life. This guy should just be working and, and making out with his girlfriend and, and, and working. That's it. But he's in a parking garage living on pallets in two hour stints every day. When Bruce Wayne says, find someone on TikTok. All right, guys, thank you very much. We have a, a great show coming for you today at uh, four o'clock. Uh, we have lined up a crazy cast of characters. Uh, of course, um, from the Mayhem Empire, we have uh, Haley Adams and uh, Andrea Nissler. We have Daniel Brandon over there from uh, Justin Kotler's camp. Uh, we have uh, Olivia um, Hepner, uh, uh, Olivia uh, Kerstetter. Holy cow. I can't believe we got her. Oh, thank you. Uh, we have Chase Ingram joining us today. Oh, I forgot about Angelo. I didn't invite Angelo. I didn't invite oh. Angelo. Get Angelo. Uh, on, and of course. What? And, of course, Brian Friend. Okay, guys, uh, we will see you at uh, 4 o'clock. Time to go work out, shower.
and then come back and sit in front of the computer. All right. 